Well, hello everybody. <laughs> this is a bit of a first for me. I am used to speaking, but uh, this is my first video on YouTube uh, for my channel, PC Crayfish. Um, I trap American Signal Crayfish legally from a local river near to where I live and I stumbled across this idea a few years ago when I accidentally caught one of these creatures whilst I was fishing. Um, they are an invasive species, very harmful to the environment. Uh, they destroy habitats, fish eggs, but they happen to be very tasty and a bit of a delicacy. So in my first season, I captured over 10,000 of these creatures and was selling them to local restaurants, eateries uh, in the area close to where I live. Um, Covid put pay to that, um, but recently I've just decided that it's time to get going again and um, let's see what we do. So let's uh, lift the first trap shall we and see what's in there. Right, first trap coming up, let's see how we get on. And we know that there are some in there because we lifted this yesterday. And yeah, there's a few more in there today. Look. <coughs> First trap we had 26. So this is trap number two. Look. Yeah, this one's done alright as well. Oh yes. As it's Father's Day, we've got some craw daddies, haven't we? Hey, right, let's go and empty this lot. Right, so trap number two. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we're going in the right direction. <laughs> right, okay, that'll do. And the important thing to check when you catch these is to make sure that you're not capturing any native white claw crayfish because they're the ones that are protected. But unfortunately, in the area that we fish, they've all been completely decimated um, but if I was to trap one I'll need to notify the Envir environment agency immediately so I happen to know because we've checked these already that these are all American signals and you know that because their claws are that lovely orangey red colour but these things are just huh, an absolute nuisance and they were introduced from America back in the 1970s, I believe, when they were farmed. And then they were set free or escaped. And now they have just become a massive, massive problem to a number of waterways throughout the UK. Um, close to where I live, uh, there's a grade two listed pool. And I think the cost of the repair is over one million pounds for the damage that they've caused to this great two listed pool in the city of Bath. Right, this is our third trap. And huh, the grand total of three. Three. Four. Four. Okay, right, on to the next one. Right, this is trap number four. 
and again it's a slightly different stretch oh, and this one's done a lot better yeah there's a good number in there so we'll count those out in a minute and on to do the next one right this is our last trap of the day <laughs> and as it's father's day it was actually my dad who uh, basically was a great help to me uh, when I started this a few years ago being a former fisherman all of his life um, he was the one making the traps and uh, coming down and helping me well dad this one's for you let's see how many we got they're not that big but nevertheless there you go dad this will always be your pot easy to recognize so we've got a count up now haven't we what have we had 26 27 4 7 24 and the last one we haven't counted yet have we Let's come back to that one. <laughs> Cow's taking an interest. That's what we don't want to see though, look at that. People barbecuing down on the riverbank. So this is our uncounted trap. We were in a bit of a rush yesterday, so we ran out of uh, bungees. A few more repairs to do. Right, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. So that's our first trap of the year. Well, our first trapping session. We haven't done too bad. And uh, let's see how we get on. They'll all be cooked up later on. So <laughs> there's a lot for me to put together, um, which I intend to do. And I'll look forward to going through how to prepare these crayfish for preparation for eating. Um, they're a very, very, very tasty delicacy. Um, but there are so many different recipes you can do with these things and people need to be aware that they are a good source of protein. Uh, they can be a little bit fiddly, but if you have a very, very good supply, you can have crayfish, uh, what do they call it in the USA? Um, broils, I think. Um, and these things in America are massive. Um, they get consumed by the, <laughs> I would hate to think, hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Um, but I just do this for a little bit of fun and it's a bit of a hobby, a bit of a pastime for me. And it's a seasonal operation. Um, it tends to be that they are most active during the summer months. Uh, so I tend to trap from May through to October. And that's in addition to working a 12 hour shift. Uh, my license gives me 20 traps over a, approximately a three mile stretch of my local river. So it keeps me fit and active. And it's a question of baiting the traps 
checking the traps, emptying the traps, counting every single crayfish that you catch and once caught you have to ensure that these things don't go back in the river. Uh, it's illegal to put them back in the river um, but they are thrived on by the wildlife within the river as I've mentioned earlier. We have mink, we have otter and it's not uncommon to see crushed crayfish claws on the riverbank. Um, you also see um, in the excrement of the otters and the mink you see the um, remains of the claws etc etc so you know that's nature for you I guess um, and I just do it as I say for a bit of enjoyment and all because I happened to catch one of these things accidentally uh, about four years ago um, I'm based in the southwest and my cousin very kindly has done all of my printed material for me so you'll have noticed on my t-shirt it says Froome and Midsummer Norton with a website well I shut the website down uh, during Covid so primarily now I'm focusing on the likes of YouTube uh, my Facebook page uh, which will be as per the logo uh, my initials PC Crayfish so I hope you've enjoyed this um, I'm a little bit nervous but uh, they say there's a first time for everything and you should always try something once. And who knows where we go from here. So thank you very much for watching this, everybody. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed it this morning being out with the kids on Father's Day. Um, so look forward to uh, some of you perhaps liking my channel, subscribing to it. And going forwards, We'll have some lovely content for you, I hope, over the next, uh, I don't know, well, who knows? Uh, it could be, could be something that takes off, but we'll do some really, really good things. So thanks for watching, folks, once again, and that's it, PC Crayfish.